For about a decade, residents in Ikoro, the local government area of Lagos State, have grappled with bad road infrastructure. At times, the government embarked on road projects. Residents say the construction of these road projects are either too slow for convenience or left to rot under the weight of articulated vehicles, indiscriminate disposal of waste and flash floods. While most residents in Ikorodu appreciate the expansion and gradual development of the third largest city in the southwest after Lagos and Ibadan. The roads connecting the major towns of Lagos metropolis are tough not to crack, especially with money spent on palliative work from members of the community and stuttering road projects waiting to be completed. The project board of the rehabilitation of Igbogbo Bayoko Road stand tall along the Rikete Road, watching motorists drive with caution on a stone reading path. The phase one of the project is expected to commence from the Odofin Junction, where it links the Ebute Igbogbo Road, which is currently being constructed by the high tech construction company. Twelve months into the project, not much has changed. Residents still battle to commute along this road. This leaves them at the mercy of mechanics. The major challenge we are having presently in Ikurudu is infrastructure deficit. In terms of deplorable roads all over the network of Ikurudu. However, specifically the one we are I'm addressing here now, when it was commissioned in 2017 November, the name given to it was Ebute Igbogbo Lara Road. But good enough, consumption from Ebute to a particular portion, we call it a symmetry point, has been completed. It has been completed. From symmetry to Ibogo, it has been abandoned. From uh, Ibogo, which is another name that we gave to it, it's a Bola Met in Umbu way. It has been completed up to Oluma. But the completion again, it's not full completion. As you can see, the, 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 the median at the middle, you can see it has been overtaken by weeds. And it's only the interlocking stone, although it's still motorable. But beyond that, Olu Modanto GT is very, very deplorable and pathetic. So we are appealing to the state government that focus should be on the Kurudu local government, most especially Ibogbo Bayeku SEDA. Intermittently, Representatives of the 250 Community Development Association meet to discuss what they can do to develop the communities. Doing that uh, uh, cemetery Igbogbo to Igbelara, I don't think they have done more than 30 percent for the past six years. You understand? So ours is that of an appeal to say most of the communities here, over 250 CDAs, we are suffering. You know, if you look at the population here in this part of Ikorodu, we can't be less than 500,000. I mean, so just imagine the livelihood of over 500 people being affected by the failure of high tech to actually finish this road. But there's no way you can enjoy the road without connecting it to Ginti. You know, Itamagato Berigbe is under construction. They have completed Itamagato Budu. So it's now going to Berigbe. So it's just connecting from Igbilara, the end of the first phase, to Ginti. So that the whole community, like I said, over 250 CD, will have you know, better livelihood. The major infrastructure that the government can do for us, sincerely, is the road. For example, electricity. Almost all the communities here, we source for electricity ourselves. All the poles, all the wires, we bought everything ourselves. That we can handle, you understand? But for the aeroplane like this, we can't do it. The best we can do is palliative. And if you check all, all the CDs here, in fact, we have been doing palliative here for over, over, over 10 years. Just after the Ebuti Oreo Road, we see the Odoafa Bridge, a problematic spot for residents 
in Igbalara. For residents like Mr. Luke Manelebute, who have been in this community for more than 15 years, the Bola Tinumbu Road has been under construction for about 10 years, is causing residents and others a lot of harrowing experiences. This is Lara and this is Igbe Road. Igbe Road. It starts from Igbogbo Bo, and then that Ijede Ginti along Ijede Road. About 20 to 30 CDAs. But what we are talking about is that this road is a place that we cannot, we don't have the financial capability to do the construction. If it is within our financial capability, we would have done something about it. For some time now, all the Hina Road, every community was mandated to make sure that annually we grade all our roads. We have to hire graders, buy oil, buy that to, for them to grade the roads, and we pay, we pay them. But this main road is causing problem, a big problem for all of us living in, within this Igbe road. Those who are going to Lagos from this end, and if the, the, this road is, is good, the people coming from Ijede, Egmi, Berigbe, and other places like that, they can use this road and bust out at Ogolonto to face Lagos. But because this road is not, is not good, most of people still go through the uh, Ikorodu garage to, to, to link uh, Lagos Road to uh, face Lagos, Lagos. So it means the traffic at Ikorodu garage is so heavy sometimes. When the, when uh, when when the, uh, there is heavy rain, rain because that Afar Road, Afar River, the place, uh, 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 the place is not passable for any vehicle. Here, only motorcycles and tricycles can brave the dilapidated roads. The roads are really bad, she tells me. We pay three hundred naira from Agbalumo to garage, and also pay three hundred naira from Oreo to garage. We spent a lot of time on the road because of the portals and flood at that bridge. We have been on the road since 8 a.m. We just got here. See, it's 11 a.m. already. We have to hurry back. Still in conversation with them, they tell me that before, they make the trip for 200 naira. Now that fuel is expensive and the road is worse, they pay 300 naira to 500 naira. According to the project board, rehabilitation is supposed to be for 22 months. Residents are hoping the work will be completed before the next rainy season. From Oreo, who struggles through the bad roads to link up with another area of Ikorodu, the Ijeda area. While the main Ijeda road seems to have undergone a recent facelift, inner roads and communities along this axis still tell tales of war on the state of the roads. Once we reached the border junction along the Jeddah Road, the roads diverted to rickety ones. The Imowonla community has not seen any road construction for decades. This is a AP Mowonla Road, and the community comprises of uh, 30 CDAs and uh, six communities in all. 30 CDAs in a Kurudu, Kurudu Central Local Government. And uh, so far, this road has been a road we've been maintaining over the years, and uh, we've done so much, but now it's getting out of hand, and we have written several letters to the government in the past. They have done lit a little to help us, but at this point, we need their full attention to rehabilitate the road, because a lot of us can't go to work because our cars cannot pass through the pool of water over there. What we expect from the government is to rehabilitate the AP Mwonla Road, while they are doing the, Beri, the, the, uh, the main road leading to Beribe, because it's just a stretch of two and a half to three kilometers, and there are so many residents in there, hundreds of thousands of residents, and businesses, schools, and all forms of life and living. So what we expect from government is to please rehabilitate the road for us so that we can drive through. In an effort to ease hardship that goes through, the community from the Road Rehabilitation Committee 
They're trying to build a channel that can accommodate a large body of water which seems to gather in the middle of the road. All around this environment, this spot, the CAC spot, has become like a confluence where water flows from all around the community and converges there. And it has been happening for years. And the community, the, through the joint CDA of Mwola and the road committee, has been making serious efforts over the years. We have had times when we went to get very big stones from a quarry. As you can see at that location, some of those things, stones are still there. So many unions in this community, individuals sometimes on their own, because nobody can pass, have made a lot of efforts. We have had times when people brought manual labor to make small channels of gutter, just to make the water flow. Recently, as you can see, the joint CDA brought an excavator to make a gutter from the CAC spot to uh, AP Junction, just in a way to see whether through self-help we can evacuate this water from this spot. It is very frustrating that despite all this effort, this water is still collecting. This is a large community with over who have been made to become redundant. This is an SOS call to the governor of Lagos State, His Excellency uh, Governor Sanwolu. We have known his government to be project driven. His government has been development based. We have seen it all around Lagos State. But it faced us that in spite of our compliance with the law, we have a lot of our people here who are paying taxes, either in the places they work or in their businesses. Several times we see government officials, tax collectors on behalf of government, they come to collect various levies from business people, shops, and other institutions here. It's our obligation as citizens of the country to make sure we comply with the law. But we're also begging the government, especially the Lagos State government, to please come to our urgent assistance. But what we're asking for specifically is that they should please include this AP Mwola Road reconstruction in the ongoing Berikberg Bodu reconstruction that is ongoing now. Mr. Okwara seems to be a good example of how the roads in this area have affected the livelihood of those in the community. Stepping out of his worn-out vehicle, he tells us how difficult the past few years have been for Rim and other persons supplying sachet water in the area. I came here as far back as 2009. This place was all that beautiful. You can look at it. But uh, as the population is growing, you know, the road, vehicle plight on the road, and um, it's getting worse. Sir. But this time around, look at my vehicle. I bought this vehicle, brand new one. Brand new one. But look at the condition now. The roads, no good, no direct play. So, you know, and um, you can see for yourself the front vehicle, how it looks like. And uh, not only me, if you had been here three days ago, you will cry for people here. Over 19 vehicles parked, we have been drawn. A tipper was standing here. His business is also to draw vehicle out of the water. You get me? So the suffering is too much. We are no more finding it funny. Serious, because I can't move them to Mawola to supply anymore. It's cut off. We're cut off. Not only me, a lot of your other dealers here. Some vehicles, smaller vehicles like this, or bigger truck, you get in there, it's tough. So nobody, if I affected the business drastically, you know, we're no longer selling. So this part, we're in the running season, but people must drink water, right? You eat anything you do, you're going to drink water, but this time around, no more. I couldn't go, I can't go with this through this water anymore. No. For those who brave the waters, only the fittest can survive because anything can happen at any time. We need them to come to, come to our heads in this community. What we are facing since we, we are in rainy season here is too much. And we beg uh, Governor Sanwolu to please look onto us and help us on this road. People are suffering. People that are going to market, no road. People that are going to school, no road. Our, our women, men, they can't us jobless in this community when there is no road. When you wanted, you wanted to enter a, a, a
common bike using 1,000 naira from here to Aleppo to cross the water is too much. We are begging. We are begging the Lagos State government. For now, the community is trying their best to manage a bad situation with the use of these pumps. Yeah.